Hello, everyone. Today I am in Oslo because my husband is here working. So I joined so that I could explore Oslo a little bit. And first things first, I need some coffee at Starbucks. It's not coffee, it's hot chocolate and they misspelled my name so you know it's a proper Starbucks. So I am currently just reading my book called How to Win Friends and Influence People on my Kindle and uh, when the shopping centers open at 10 I will be going for shopping a little bit. I want to see if I can find some summer clothes and I also want to see if I can find a necklace that's matching my earrings. Uh, after that, uh, my husband and I are going to eat lunch together and we're going to eat sushi, especially kaiten sushi, which is the sushi that goes around on a belt and it's so tasty. Uh, after that, I want to keep exploring Oslo and maybe do some more shopping. I also want to do my nails, because as you can see, they're quite rugged, so I want to get them like filed and polished. So yeah, that's the plan today. about an hour until the main shopping centers open so but I'm very happy that I was able to buy a couple of skirts so I was thinking that I will bring you outside because the weather is lovely not too hot not too cold so I'm gonna bring you around Oslo center so that you can see how it looks like over here you can see the new monk museum which is here and behind there is the opera house, which is quite famous. It was really nice to sit by the water and enjoy the view. Uh, and now I'm gonna go to the top of the Oprah house. So this is the new Munk Museum as I mentioned. I haven't been there yet, but I really should go sometime. The shopping centers are opening any second now and um, so I have just been walking around not too far from the center and I also remember that I'm going to the Lush store because I am out of bath bombs and I love bath bombs so that's number one that you can use multiple times. So I managed to book an appointment at 12 o'clock so that when I finish lunch with my husband I can just either sit and relax or eat some more <laughs> and then I can go and get my nails done. So now the plan is to go to Oslo city which is the bigger <clears throat> shopping center and 
first of all trying to find a necklace as I said uh, but also just generally some summer clothes or anything else that I found or anything else that I fancy so let's go silver and pearl necklace that matches my earrings so I have booked appointment for my nails I got the necklace well I have bought two skirts done at Lush so I would say I'm rather efficient <laughs> uh, I would guess it's about 30 minutes until lunchtime so I'm just gonna look a little bit more around the shopping center and then I am very very ready for lunch I just realized that at the Vinmonopuna, which is where you can buy alcohol in Norway, they have a selection of Japanese umeshu and also Japanese sake. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go in here and see what they have. So I have tasted this one and this one. And I'm actually surprised that they don't have the one that I like the most. I'm gonna try this one because this is the only one of the umeshus imported to Norway that I haven't tried yet, so I'm gonna try this one. So it's 11 o'clock, which means it's lunchtime. My husband is on his way to the sushi place. So I'm just gonna go meet him there. And the sushi place is at the Östbanholm, which is right over there. And my husband works in this building over there, so it's very close. Jeg så en veldig kjekk mann, tenkte det må jo være deg. Ja, det er bra. Er vi klar for sushi? Ja, det er klart vi lunsjer. Det går fort. Ja, det synes også. So the place we're gonna eat at is Yo Sushi. Because they have the Kaiten Sushi style, which we really like. And the quality is good. So, oh. so I think they literally just opened up now at 11. There's no one else here. And Kaiten Sushi is the style where the sushi goes around and like on a belt, like this. And you just pick up wherever you fancy. but my nail appointment is coming right up now so I needed to go first I'm uh, looking forward to doing my nails I'm not gonna do anything crazy just you know shaping them and having a coat of nail polish so some good and some bad news bad news is that I had booked the nail appointment at the wrong place <laughs> So I don't know if I messed up the, um, the map or when I was booking it, but it was way out of Oslo. It says Oslo and it even says Karl Johan, which is the street right over there. But it was <laughs> way too far. So when I went to the, to the place that I thought I had booked at, they were like, you don't have a booking. I was like, what do you mean? It's today at 12 o'clock. And they're like, no. And I was like showing them my, my booking and they're like, no, this is not the right place. I was like, oh. But I, luckily I called the place and I said that I made a mistake, can you please cancel my booking? And she was very nice, she was like, yeah sure, no problem. So that means that I didn't lose any money on that. But on the other hand, 
my nails still look like shit and so I'm a little bit like um, unsure what to do I think I'm trying to find another place shopping center called Akam and I just want to go into Neo Tokyo because they have a lot of Japanese stuff and I just really like to look at it even though it's quite expensive but it's fun nail salon right behind me at quarter to four so it will be like right before we go back home so I just went into this Freya place so that's the place that I'm gonna do my nails so I just have some chocolate vanilla and pistachio syrup so instead of just spending my time indoors at the shopping centers I wanted to be a little bit more outside so I took the walk down here to Akiribuge which is by the water and we have a lot of like old boats and like pubs and restaurants so I was thinking about relaxing a little bit because my feet are starting to hurt <laughs> a little bit I've been standing and walking almost all day so I was thinking about going over there and uh, maybe have a glass of wine or something enjoyed a glass of wine by the water and now it's time to go back to Icon Center to get my nails done. So my camera died just right at the start of the pedicure but I just went for a nice summery pink color and I got my nails rounded and that's about it it was an express manicure after all so we are in the car and we are on our way home so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye